there. Are you ready to get your happy marriage tips to live a prosperous life? I am ready to give them to you. So get ready because this is going to be pretty awesome. I have five characteristics of a happy marriage that I want to share with you. And then I want to give you three things that absolutely you need to have a happy, healthy marriage. Lastly, I want to give you, before you go, my favorite technique that never fails. So that'll be the last thing that I give you because I want to first start with the five characteristics of a happy marriage because I've worked with thousands of couples and one of my favorite couples that I've worked with was this one couple that loved each other so much. They loved each other dearly, but we discovered that they spoke two different languages. Has that ever happened to you? If you know somebody that's happened to well, we found that we could find a language that they both spoke. So we translated the language that they were speaking into a new language that they were able to talk to each other with that didn't hurt anymore. So that's what I do for couples. I enjoy doing it. I help them get on the path to happiness and stay on the path to happiness. My name is Kene Quarter, and I'm a best-selling author, international speaker, and psychotherapist that specializes in financial therapy for couples that want to get on the path to happiness and stay on the path to happiness. Now, let me go into the, the course for today. I want to give you five characteristics of a happy marriage. Number one, friendship. You've got to be a friend. The friendship is so important. And I don't mean that you have to have everything in common. I mean, you treat each other with that kind of respect that you would your best friend. I mean, think about it right now. Do you and your best friend have everything in common? Probably not. Maybe you have some things, but not everything. So your spouse doesn't have to have everything in common with you either. For example, my best friend, she has a nine to five job and I'm an entrepreneur. So we think very differently when it comes to earning money, but that doesn't matter. We think the same on so many other things. We have the same core values and that's where we are aligned. So that builds our friendship. Same thing with your partner. Look for your core values, not necessarily those activities like going to a sporting event or something like that. That doesn't have to be what you have in common. Look at your core values and build your friendship from there. Next, I want to move to number two, which is honesty. Honesty is a big part of a happy marriage. Put it on the table. Get it out there. Even if it seems bad, your partner can handle it. Sure, they'll get upset about some things. You can handle that. You see what I'm saying? It's just emotions. They eventually pass. You have to work through it. There are things that you will have to do to help your partner get through whatever um, upset emotions they might have and getting down in there and getting that forgiveness and vice versa. They'll have to do some things for you. But being honest is really the best policy. So that brings me to vulnerability. And vulnerability can be really tough. Yeah. So thinking of vulnerability, what I want, I have this saying, I say that relationships are not hard. Vulnerability is what's hard. Can you feel me on that? Absolutely. So vulnerability is tough. And trust me, coming from a girl who had a guard up for a long time, I thought I was safer by being, by having my guard up and not being vulnerable. But what I found is that I was missing out. I wasn't getting the benefits of what it really felt like to love because I wasn't being vulnerable. So vulnerability is super important to a healthy, happy marriage. Fourth, be a lifelong learner. Continue to learn. Learn as much as you can about yourself, about your partner, and about what's going on in the world, whatever you're interested in. Because there's nothing better than to have some new information you can come home with to share with your partner. They weren't with you all day. Maybe they were, maybe they weren't. But what if you learn something new and then that's the thing that you guys can talk about? They can share what they learn new. You can share what you learn. And even if you don't have everything in common, what you do have in common is that you're interested in each other. So have that in common. That's actually like number five, but it was a bonus because it wasn't even on my list. So number five, the real number five is to build a community, a community of lifelong learners, but also a community of people who have gone before you. Maybe they've done it successfully or maybe they even have it, but they know that maybe the way they did it wasn't necessarily the way you should do it. And whether you listen to their advice or not, that doesn't matter. What you really want to do is look at the meaning and what they've gone through and see if you can learn from their mistakes, so to speak. 
So let's go into defining your idea of a prosperous life, because if you define your idea of a prosperous life, this gets you the three things that every couple needs to do in order to have a happy, healthy marriage. Now, imagine your prosperous life. I mean, really think about it. The life you deserve, that you really want. And it doesn't necessarily mean you have millions of dollars in a jet and a boat. Nah. You don't have to have that stuff. Maybe your idea of a prosperous life is being able to sit in your backyard and like watch the birds. I know my partner, he loves that kind of stuff. He has to have his bird watching and he doesn't really have to drive a fancy car. He likes a fancy car, but he doesn't have to have one. And I'm the same. That's something we have in common. So really see what your deal breakers are, what you have to have in your prosperous life and what you don't. Because in my course, in my prosperity club, I teach a course where I help you figure out exactly what you want in your life. So right here, I'm giving you the idea. This is the what. Go ahead and do it. Um, but if you need more help, I'll show you at the end how I can get that right before I tell you the, the foolproof, like never fail question that always works. So imagine your life, your prosperous life, and then put a dollar amount with it. Once you have that dollar amount, Hold it inside and see what you can do each day to get closer and closer to that amount of money that you need to live. What adjustments do you need to make in your life? And basically what you're doing is setting goals. You set your life goal, you set your money goal, and then think about what is the way you love to give and receive money? How do you love to give and receive money? Because Sometimes giving and receiving are different. You might love to give love one way and love to receive love another way. For example, I love to give, like I'm a very generous person and that is the way that I show love. However, receiving, I love words of affirmation. Like, tell me how much I mean to you, what it means for me to be in your life, like that kind of stuff, you got me. So think about that when it comes to your prosperous life because the formula for a prosperous life is to have a strong why and then set your life goal, your love goal, and your money goal. So those are the three things that every couple needs. Every couple needs love, money, and a why. Love, money, and a why. You got it? All right. Now, I want to give you one last thing. Because maybe you're saying, <laughs> Kane, I get that, but how do I do it? I got you. I have an ebook and it's free. It's called Marriage Material and it's full of happy marriage tips and resources needed to have a healthy, happy mindset. To find marriage happiness, get on the path to happiness and stay there. And I also have a five day challenge. So you can get my free ebook and my free five day challenge where I'll give you 10 happy marriage tips and activities. I'll even clue you in on the top five predictors of divorce. So all you have to do is register with the link in this video, either it's above or below, go to the link in the video and register. Before you do that, I wanna tell you what's in the five day challenge because maybe you wanna know. So you're gonna get deeper on this three characteristics, on these five characteristics of a happy marriage. So you're gonna go deeper on that. Then we're gonna to go to the top three couples, the top three things that predict divorce for couples. And then we're going to go to five predictors of divorce. So it's the top three things that couples get divorced, the reasons why couples get divorced. Sorry about that. Top three things why couples get divorced. Then it's five predictors of divorce, the things that say, oh, maybe you might be getting a divorce. You want to know these things. And then three things every couple needs to have a happy, healthy marriage, which we just talked about here. That's the love, the life, and the why. But I'm going to go deeper because I just gave you the what, and I want to give you the how. So join me in this challenge so you can discover your idea of prosperity, so you can learn what financial therapy is and how it's helping couples stay happily married. And then what every couple needs to become a winning team in love, life, and money. All of that. And I'll answer three questions that I always get. That is, number one, can money buy happiness? I'll answer that. Two, can money buy love? 
I'll answer that. And my favorite question that I get a lot, how do I get my partner to talk about their feelings around love or money or their life goals? How do I get my partner to open up? That's one I get a lot too. So I want to go ahead and wrap this up. I think you'll get the picture. You'll get the, the, the ebook. You'll get the five day challenge. You'll learn so much. I mean, how much have you learned already in this short video? Think of what's going to come in the five day challenge and in the free ebook and it's all free. So how cool is that? So whether you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed out about your marriage or you're in a really healthy, happy marriage and you want to keep it that way, either way, I have a plan, a prosperity plan to help you get on the path to happiness once and for all and stay there. So don't get distracted by anything that's happening out in the world and society. Just stay. You'll get part of the prosperity club. Once you become part of the prosperity club, you get that community that we talked about and the community is a community of lifelong learners. So it's the perfect community for you. Plus there are a library of resources in the Prosperity Club. So you also become a lifelong learner just by joining the Prosperity Club, which you can do once you finish the five day challenge, if you like. So I'm gonna show you how money can buy happiness, how money can buy love, and I'm gonna show you how to get your idea of prosperity. All you have to do is click the link and you'll be part of the five day challenge and you'll get your free ebook. So I want to tell you what I told you, I'll tell you before we end it. And that is, I want to give you my favorite technique that I've never seen fail. Start every conversation, like those hard conversations with what's going well. So if you got to talk about your money, First, talk about what's going well. Don't just go straight to, hey, we got to pay this and we got to forget about this and this is going wrong. Go to what's going well first. Otherwise, your partner will probably shut down and get defensive. Ooh, and speaking of shutting down and getting defensive, that's kind of a hint as to what we're going to talk about in the challenge. So start every conversation with what's going well. Because if you're talking about the kids, if you're talking about money, even if you're talking about your relationship, especially if you're talking about your relationship, start with what's going well. Does that make sense? Can you do that? I know you can. In fact, I encourage you to try it. Try it today. Think of all these things I've talked about, you know, being a lifelong learner, having a community, being vulnerable, being honest, building your friendship, but also just knowing what you need, those five characteristics, like even if you don't try anything, just knowing them, because when the opportunity presents itself, you can kick in and then do them. And then look at your idea of prosperity, your life goal. Look at your, your money goal. And then look at your why. Do you have one? If not, I can help you find it. So join the challenge. Just click the link below or above this video. Go ahead and join. You know you want to be a part of the challenge. And I can tell you, I want you to be a part of the challenge. I'm really looking forward to it. This challenge is so cool, so much fun. I enjoy creating it and I would enjoy hanging out with you in the Prosperity Club and also in the challenge. So let's meet in the club, all right? I'll see you soon.